Hey, hope you're uh, having a good day wherever uh, you are all around the world. Uh, but glad you found us on YouTube as we're talking in Exodus chapter 25. And I want to look at verses 12 through 15. We're building the Ark of the Covenant, right? Like yesterday, you know, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, go back and watch it because we kind of start the basis for the Ark. So we have this box, three feet, nine inches wide, um, two feet, I believe it was three inches, um, uh, it's three feet, nine inches long, two feet, three inches wide, two feet, three inches high. So not a very big box. So overlaid with gold. And now here's where he continues in verse 12. He says, cast four gold rings and attach them to its four feet. So it had little feet on it. So attach it to those. Make the poles from acacia wood, the same kind of wood that the rest of the ark was made from. Overlay them with gold. Insert the poles into the rings at the side of the ark to carry it. These carrying poles must stay inside the rings. Never remove them. So the ark didn't have handles. It wasn't to be lifted and carried directly by one's hands. Instead, there were these poles that were inserted that it would be lifted and picked up with. Once the ark was assembled, the and we'll even talk about what's going to be placed in it tomorrow. Uh, once these items are placed in it, and there's a lid that is placed on top, it is not to be touched unless God gives a specific command to do so. Right? It's not to be touched. It is holy. The people were to pay reverence to the ark because of the fact that it was the symbol of the presence of God dwelling among them. So this was a holy item. So the rings were never removed so the ark could be picked up. And they're even very specific about the heart, how the ark is to be transported. There was a basically a Levite, basically a priest on each corner, right? And they would pick up their piece, hold it up, off they would go wherever they need to carry the ark. And the ark oftentimes led the procession. Now you think about the uh, Battle of Jericho and the walls fell. The ark went in front of them. As the people marched around the city, the ark was in front of them. The ark was the symbol of God's presence. So um, this, this command to not touch it is actually broken in 2 Samuel chapter 6. There's a man named Uzzah. And he touched the ark to keep it from falling off a cart. He did not touch it at the poles, and God struck him dead. This actually really kind of scared David, um, and he didn't continue taking the ark to Jerusalem as he had planned. Uh, but the ark did not fall off the cart as it was not going to because God was not going to allow it to. So Uzzah touched it, and he was wrong in thinking that there was something less pure about it even falling than his act of disobedience. So God took this very seriously. So the ark was to be transported in this very specific way. And we'll look at how uh, some of the rest of the ark comes together tomorrow. You guys have a blessed day.